This is the cheapest mesh Wi-Fi under 100 bucks that I could find on Amazon. In fact, it's only 80 bucks. But 80 bucks, could it really be any good or is this rubbish? Well, I wanted to find out. So we know that the next evolution in Wi-Fi technology is mesh. It's been around for some time. And as with every new tech, when it comes out, the price is really high. And the more it gets adopted, well, the price starts coming down. Coming down to 80 bucks though, when most systems are 150 bucks and more, well, that gets super interesting. Mesh Wi-Fi has great benefits over traditional Wi-Fi range extenders. It has a much better control of the Wi-Fi data flowing around your network. It's smart enough to detect any data Data blockages and redirect your traffic around it. This results in you getting a better Wi-Fi experience and therefore faster internet connection. Need more coverage? No problem. Just buy additional extra nodes. You don't even need to set up an additional Wi-Fi network so you don't have to change your Wi-Fi name as you're going from room to room to room. So this is it. This is the Velo, Velo, Velo Mesh Wi-Fi system. It's three nodes, 80 bucks on Amazon and it does both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Unfortunately, no Wi-Fi 6, but then, you know, at this price point, that's to be expected. Um, it covers up 4,500 square feet with this three packs, and if you need additional nodes, as I said, simply buy them individually, and you can just add them on. Apparently, you can even handle up to 65 devices at the same time. Setting one of these up is super simple. All you're gonna do is download the Velo app onto your phone and follow the prompts. But essentially, take any one of these nodes and make that your main node. You do that by simply powering it up, connecting the WAN port from your ISP's modem with a LAN cable to the WAN port that's on the back here, and that's, that, that's pretty much it. To set up additional nodes on your network is even simpler. Just simply power them up in the various rooms around your home, it will do it for you automatically. That's pretty cool. So now the big question that you've been asking and waiting for, will the Wi-Fi speed be faster, slower, or stay the same when I change from my traditional router to this mesh system? We're gonna find out. Alrighty, let's get this test started. So first thing, I just wanna make sure I'm still connected to my old router, Hamesh, which is, yes, I am. And I'm gonna fire up my trusty Wi-Fi analyzer. And here I can see the link speed is 866 megabits per second. And that makes sense, because I'm right there. So let's take it for a little walk. This is gonna be position number two outside of my office. Oh, hello, doggy. And now let's see what the speed is going to be. 800, 548, 468 megabits per second. Is it stabilizing there? Let's just wait a little bit. 468, 351, 351. That's the number. So now let's head on outside, which is the furthest point in my house away from the router. We're gonna see what kind of reading we're gonna get. Next to my leaf, which is my position marker, you can see I'm getting a whopping six megabits per second. Oh, it just doubled to 13 megabits per second. Woo hoo. Okay, now I'm gonna switch the Velo Mesh system on with the three nodes and then run the same test again at the same location. Whilst I do that, hit that subscribe button if you like this kind of casual, real world tech. And if you like this video, also give it a thumbs up if you want to. So there it is, the Velo Mesh system is now connected. We're gonna confirm that we are indeed connecting to that. Yes, we are. We're no longer connected to my previous network fire off the wi-fi analyzer and i'm looking at the link speed again and right now next to it it's 866 megabits per second standard stuff let's head back out to the couch and we're going to take a second reading this is where finn was hanging out on the couch hopefully he's shifted over a little bit what kind of speed am i going to get now it's dropping it's dropping 351 Okay, so it's taking a bit of a knock. Oh, 175 is taking a big knock. But here is the but of this particular mesh system. You gotta give it a moment. You gotta give it a second. It's trying to find an intelligent route back to the router, back to your modem, out into the internet in order to give you better connectivity. So you gotta give it a moment to find the nearest nodes that gets best traffic for you and look at that speed. 526 megabits per second. When it finds it, it rewards you with a great Wi Fi experience. And final test, let's fast forward this bit because you know where it's going, right to that trampoline where that leaf is. We're gonna see what kind of speed we're gonna get and look at that, 263 megabits per second at the furthest point away from that router. 
Okay, if I'm honest, I wasn't expecting that. The results with the Velo Mesh are 866 megabits per second close, which is the same as my original system. But at the couch, the Velo Mesh system gets an insane 526 megabits per second versus the original, which was 351. Now, at the furthest point outside, the Velo gets 263 megabits per second versus a measly 13 megabits per second that I was getting with my original system. <laughs> now, the system is actually super stable too. After running it with all my devices, my phones, my laptops, my tablets, my streaming, gaming, security cams, and much more, Velo system just has been a rock star. So credit where credit is due, and frankly, I'm impressed. Uh, did I mention it was only 80 bucks? Link is in the description below. And also check out this video over here where I show you a bunch of cool things you can do with your router right now. And this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. And then go watch both. Let's, let's, I'll see you in both. Let's go.